So, good afternoon, everyone. My name's Victoria Hay, and I'm a Languages Advisor with the Languages and Culture team. I'm really excited to walk you through the support materials we've created for the new languages extension prescriptions for 2025 to 2030. We recognise the ongoing custodians of the lands and waterways where we work and live. We pay respect to elders past and present as ongoing teachers of knowledge, songlines and stories. We strive to ensure every Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander learner in New South Wales achieves their potential through education. Today I'm presenting to you from the lands of the Walla Monical clan in Ryde in Sydney. Before I begin, I just wanted to let you know that since there's been a change to NESA teacher accreditation, removing the distinction between accredited and elective professional development categories, all professional learning completed through MyPL will now be automatically recorded in your ETANS log. So this will eliminate the need to maintain a personal professional uh, log of your PL. The rec record of your attendance at the PL will usually be appearing in your ETANS log within 24 hours. So if you have not already enrolled on MyPL for this session, I will leave it open until 5.30 today so you can do so. You can use the QR code on the slide to take you to MyPL and the code for the session is shown here also. Uh, Non-department teachers can also register for courses on MyPL by clicking register on the MyPL homepage. So I will begin with an overview of the extension course. Each languages extension course requires 60 indicative hours to complete and the continuous course is a co-requisite. The organisational focus of each course is the theme, the individual and contemporary society. For each extension course, NESA prescribes for study a number of issues that exemplify aspects of the theme. Students engage with the issues through the study of the prescribed text and related texts. Study of the prescribed text may not begin before the completion of the Year 11 course. The HSC course description should be read in conjunction with the relevant extension syllabus. Each extension syllabus can be found in the Stage 6 Languages section of NEXA's website. The QR code on the screen will take you there. If you click on the extension language you want, You will find the syllabus and the course prescriptions, which are the prescribed issues and prescribed text. For 2025 to 2030, NESA has prescribed new texts and issues for each extension language, except for Chinese. The course prescriptions should be read in conjunction with the relevant syllabus. Of course, when creating materials and resources to support the teaching of the extension syllabus, they must align with the syllabus objectives and outcomes. These on the slide are for Japanese extension and the objectives and outcomes are consistent across all extension languages. Our team, in conjunction with teacher writers, all of whom are experienced expert teachers of their extension course, have created materials for the eight extension courses you see on the slide. Our materials aim to support the teaching of the prescribed issues and the prescribed texts, helping students achieve the syllabus outcomes. Please note that the current course prescriptions for Chinese extension are to be taught for the 2026 HSC. It is important to mention at this point that these support materials are intended for teacher use only. Please don't share the materials in their entirety with students as this may limit the scope of questions for the HSC exams. Instead, Use the activities and information as a basis to guide the design of your own teaching and learning activities. As I've mentioned, students engage with the prescribed issues through the study of the prescribed text and related texts. Please note that the related texts are not prescribed. They can be chosen by the teacher and we have included samples of relevant texts in all our support material documents. On the slide, you can see the prescribed issues and texts for Japanese extension. The prescribed text is the film Like Father, Like Son, Soshite Tichi ni Naru, and the prescribed issues are connectedness, journeys, and diversity of values. The prescribed issues are mandatory, however, the dot points are not. 
The examples are suggestions only and are included to give a sense of the scope of the prescribed issues. In the case of a film, students must be familiar with the whole film. Specific extracts are also set for study as seen in this example for the Japanese film. For a novel, Spanish, students must be familiar with the whole novel and certain extracts are set for study. For short stories, Arabic, Six short stories from two different collections have been set, and for songs, for French, ten individual songs have been selected for study. Again, the prescription set for study can be found on Nessa's website with each extension language syllabus and are included in each of our support documents. The prescribed issues must be explored through the prescribed text, which involve exploring the relationship between the issues and the prescribed text, creating original text in response to aspects of the prescribed text. Oh, sorry about that. Um, identifying meaning and how it is conveyed in the prescribed text, evaluating linguistic and cultural features of the prescribed text, and analysing the socio-cultural context of the prescribed text. The prescribed issues must also be explored through the related texts which allows students to read, view, and or listen to a range of texts, further develop knowledge of the language speaking communities, evaluate how the issues are presented in these texts. In the next section, we will look more closely at our support materials, which unpack both the study of the prescribed texts and related texts for the extension course prescriptions. Having looked briefly at the overview and structure of the course, I'd now like to take you through our support materials documents to show you what they provide and how they can assist you to teach the extension course. I've already mentioned that our approach to these materials has been designed for you not to share the materials directly with students, but to use them as a guide to assist you to teach the course. I also want to explain that due to the fact that we've included transcripts, text and images from the prescribed text, we need to abide by copyright protocols. Thus, we have had to publish these resources behind a password protected firewall on our website. All you need to do is acknowledge you're an extension teacher and you will be able to access and download the support materials. Within our support documents, we've included this warning on the slide as we wish you to know that the copyright material is being reproduced for educational purposes, for the use with students only, and should not be shared or used beyond that purpose. Our extension support materials can be accessed via our website. I'm now going to take you live to the website to show how you can access them. Karina, can you see my screen on the Google homepage? Or Lauren? Oh, yeah, all oh, good. Yes, I can. Great. So I'm just going to show you the, um, just how to access them via Google because often, especially if you're a non-department teacher, you might not be familiar with accessing the, our website. So just type in New South Wales Department of Education and it will be the first thing that comes up. Uh, I will show you, there's actually a couple of different pathways to get there. I'm going to show you the one that I use. So teaching and learning. Curriculum. Scroll down to key learning areas, of course, languages. Scroll down to this tile, planning, programming and assessing languages 11 to 12. And then you will see, if you scroll down the page a little bit, you will see under the heading extension sport materials, there they are. So you click on that link. And it takes you to our brand new page where our extension support materials are kept. So on the home page, you've got the choice of all the languages. So I'm going to go to Japanese. My favourite.
Um, it looks like as I'm logged in that it is letting me straight in. Let me just see if I choose another one. No, but don't worry, it's very simple. Once you get to that page on any of the languages, it just asks you if you're an extension teacher. You click yes, the password is revealed, you put the password in and you're in. So you don't need to be emailed the password or anything like that. You just need to acknowledge that you're an extension teacher. So um, you can just download the materials as a document, which is just underneath the title of the course. So it just opens as a Word document. And you can download that. Very simple. That is the, um, I'm going to be taking through the format of the document today when I am um, talking about all of our resources. Close that for now. But you can also see there is this web um, format that you can actually access all sections of the document through this, this layout. So for example, introduction, you can click on that. And it will take you to the introduction section. You can click through just through the bottom to the next section. Or you can use the menu on the left. So if anybody has any questions about that, um, you can ask me at the end of the presentation, but that's uh, very simple to access them. Okay, let's go back to our presentation. So we've taken a consistent approach when creating our support materials, and they all have a very similar structure. As you can see from the contents table for the Arabic support material, after the introduction to the course and an overview of syllabus text types, each document has the same section on familiarising students with the prescribed issues through related texts, and then a section dedicated to preparing students to present opinions and argue a case. I'll walk you through these uh, in more detail in a moment. The next section provides content for the study of the prescribed text, in this case, short story for Arabic. Although this section of support material is structured similarly across languages, the content will obviously be specific to each language's prescribed text. Later in the presentation, I'll show you how we've gone about presenting this section. Then finally, for each language, we've, we have sample HSC style questions, related texts, additional resources and references. In our support materials, we advise that before you start the study of the prescribed text, you spend some time familiarising students with the prescribed issues by exploring related texts. This can help students broaden their understanding of the issues before studying the prescribed text. Students should engage with the prescribed issues across a variety of texts, discussing their ideas and opinions in class. This will give them an in-depth understanding from a number of perspectives and provide them with a vocabulary and range of ideas to assist in the oral and written sections of the extension exam. A range of reading and listening texts should be chosen with a variety of sophisticated vocabulary and complex linguistic structures to support students in expressing their own ideas in spoken and written form. The benefits of using a wide range of texts are that students can gain an in-depth background from which to draw ideas and develop the tools, including a more sophisticated approach to the issues, to answer any question in the HSC exam. Shown on this slide are suggestions we provided in our support materials to assist teachers in exploring related texts with students. Towards the end of each document, we've provided a range of sample related texts. Some sample related texts from our Indonesian support materials are a YouTube video from UNICEF, 
an infographic about friendship, an article about child labour, and the script of a radio interview about long distance families. In the support materials document, these texts all have accompanying questions for students to answer. The next section of our support, preparing students to present opinions and argue a case, is consistent across all documents. To achieve the outcomes of the extension syllabus, students must use the language to discuss attitudes, opinions and ideas, and to formulate and justify an argument. For the HSC exam, students are required to demonstrate their ability to present and support a point of view or develop an argument through spoken monologues and writing tasks. To prepare students to respond effectively to a broad range of questions beyond just the subtopics of the prescribed issues, teachers need to use strategies that encourage students to think in terms of opinions and arguments. Emphasis needs to be placed on developing skills that can be applied to any content. Students should not attempt to fit a prepared response to a question, rather use general structures and prepare a range of phrases that could be used to present any opinion and justify any argument. Students need to be exposed to a variety of topics and be shown how to quickly develop a logical argument with their own point of view embedded in the response. To that end, we've included a range of activities that can be used to develop a case, point of view or argument, which you can see on the slide. We unpack each of these activities in the document. Here are some examples of the brainstorming and mind mapping activities that we've included. Lenses for dialogue. Stories. discussion and conferencing. Take a stand. And question quadrants. just a snapshot, of course, um, they're in the documents for you to have a closer look at. In our support documents, we provide this performer to help students develop a structured approach to responding to monologues and writing questions. Students should create a list of phrases and expressions that can be used to build an authentic argument for writing and speaking responses. In each support document for each language, we provide examples of these within categories such as how to refer to the title or subject and introductory remarks, starting a paragraph, presenting an opinion, developing an argument, expressions to use within a paragraph to add structure, introducing a personal statement, expressing doubt, giving examples, comparing ideas, and ending a discussion. On this slide, you can see some of the phrases and expressions we provided for French for some of these. Developing knowledge of specialist vocabulary is essential in the extension course for students to be able to formulate arguments and opinions on prescribed issues. Examples of activities to build specialist vocabulary, which we've included, a dominoes, select and express, matchups, word webs.
scaffold and compare. and using AI. Explicitly teaching students how to assess their own work and the work of their peers has many benefits. It promotes student understanding of their learning and provides opportunities for critical, anal critical analysis of their efforts. For both speaking and writing, students can share their responses with peers for feedback. Students should use marking guidelines to provide feedback on their peers' work. In addition to the marking guidelines, students can use more general peer feedback strategy, strategies, which we provide in our support documents. And examples of these are feedback sandwich, tell, ask, give, and feedback frame. Now I'm going to move on to showing you how we've approached the study of the prescribed text for our support materials, starting with film. As I mentioned previously, there are five films prescribed for study for the extension prescriptions as seen on this slide. German, Indonesian, Italian, Japanese and modern Greek. We begin the film study section of the support material by providing information about the background to the film. The type of document the type of content provided will differ slightly between languages in this section to reflect each individual film. On the slide, you can see this content for the German film, Amelie Rent. Next, we provide a brief description of the main characters and detailed summary of the film. On this slide is the content for these sections for the Indonesian film, Sang Pemimpi. We follow, the, we follow this content with, re, with content related to elements of a film, including director, cast, screenplay, production design, film techniques, which include plot development and sequencing of events, setting, shot composition and framing, types of shot and camera angle, color and lighting, sound, costuming and decor, imagery and editing. Students can be asked questions in their HSC exam about aspects of film techniques and how they're used to demonstrate the prescribed issues, characters, plot, etc. of the film. So it's essential teachers explore these with students when teaching the prescribed text. These high and low angle shots are from the German film Amelie, Amelie Rindt. To assist teachers develop their students' skills to explore film techniques in depth for each extract, we've provided a film techniques template in our support materials. Each film has set extracts for study prescribed by Nessa. For example, for extract one of the Italian film Il Campione, the approach we have taken for each prescribed extract is to provide the transcript of each extract, English translations of challenging vocabulary and expressions from the transcript, a summary of the extract and any relevant cultural references from the extract, questions about the extract, and a description of the prescribed issues from the extract as they relate to the text. For Arabic, the prescribed texts are a selection of short stories, and for Spanish, the prescribed text is a novel, as seen on the screen. For Arabic and Spanish, we've taken a similar approach to the study of prescribed texts, as well as some sections focusing on specific aspects of each text type. We first provide background information, as shown here for Spanish. Background to the novel, setting of the novel, summary of the novel. 
We then provide content relating to elements of a short story and elements of a novel, which are similar and include plot, setting, point of view, theme, and character development. Our approach then differs between short story and novel. For novel, we provide content relating to literary techniques, imagery, motif, tone, flashback, simile and metaphor, etc. And for short story, we provide content to guide exploration, exploration of the short stories, such as the exposition, the action and the plot, the resolution, and language features. As for our support materials where film is the prescribed text, we then provide detailed content for each short story, for Arabic, and extract for Spanish, as seen on the slide. For French, Nessa has prescribed 10 songs, as seen on this slide. We've designed our approach to the study of songs by first providing content about song element structures, song elements, sorry, under the heading seen on the slide, structure, setting, theme, title, relationship between the singer and the audience, atmosphere or mood, lyrics, instrumentation, voice, melody, rhythm, tempo, use of refrain and chorus, use of repetition, use of rhyme, assonance and alliteration, and la chanson engagée. So all the prescribed French extension songs belong to la chanson engagée genre. La chanson engagée is particularly prevalent in French speaking communities and countries in which songs are not written just to entertain, but also to, also to explore political and or social justice issues. We've provided some suggestions for activities to develop global understanding of songs. And some past HSC exam questions for you to explore with students. We then provide content and activities to plot, explore each song, background to the artist and song, song lyrics, vocabulary and expressions, summary of the song, questions about the song and prescribed issues and how they relate to the song. After the sections on the study of the prescribed text in each of our support materials, we then provide one sample HSC style question for response to text part A, response to text part B, and some sample and writing, sample speaking and writing tasks shown on this slide from our Italian support materials. Earlier in this presentation, I mentioned related texts, how they can be used to explore the prescribed issues and some examples of them. A reminder, the related texts themselves are actually included towards the end of each support materials document. Here's another example of a related text. This one is from our Modern Greek Support Materials, a Greek television program with accompanying questions which explore the prescribed issues of identity and relationships. Our Modern Greek writers also included an excerpt from a novel, songs, and a painting as related texts reflecting our approach of recommending teachers use a range of different text types for students to explore the prescribed issues. As can be seen on this slide for our Japanese support materials, for some languages, our writers have also provided a list of additional resources 
that will be of assistance in exploring the prescribed issues with students. To conclude, I'd like to reiterate there are eight support materials documents have been produced to support the teaching of the prescribed text and the prescribed issues, helping students achieve the outcomes of each language's stage six extension syllabus. Again, you can use the QR code on the slide to navigate to Ness's extension languages syllabus pages and the course prescriptions for each language for the 2025 to 2030 prescriptions. On their website for each extension language, NESA also provides other support such as past HSE exams, standards materials for most languages, sample assessment schedules, HSC exam rubrics, and marking guidelines and assessment advice. Also, students may benefit from reading the department's document HSC Examinations in Extension Languages Advice to Students. This document can be found by navigating to the specific Extension Language page from the Planning and Assessment Languages 11 to 12 section of our website. The QR on the code will take the QR code on the slide will take you there. For teachers in New South Wales public schools who are in our statewide staff room, you will know that language, language that teachers have also shared a range of resources they have created to support the teaching of extension course. On the left hand menu, select the resources channel. This is a new channel in our staff room and we're still building it. Click on files and you'll see two folders. Resources contributed by teachers can be found in the Community Shared Resources folder, organised by language. There's not a lot there at the moment, as these course prescriptions are new, so we're looking forward to seeing this space grow. If you would like to contribute to these shared resources by adding some of your own, please feel free to email them to me or add them as a post to our Community Notice Board channel and we'll move them over to the Resources channel for you. I also just want to let you know that our colleagues at the Association of Independent Schools, AIS, have published their own extension support materials for Italian, Spanish, French and German, which are available to all and can be accessed by their website using the QR code on the slide. Thank you so much for your attendance at our session today. So um, I would be very happy to answer any questions that people have. Um, we really wish you the best teaching the 2025 to 2030 extension prescriptions and hope you're, you find our support that we and our writers have produced to be, to be useful to you and your students. Um, so, Victoria, sorry, maybe just stop the recording before oh. the questions. Yeah, thanks, Karina.